Hey, about to jump in the bank, about to fill this thing up with $117,361. And don't forget the pennies, 13 cents, why? Because that's what I made at 20 years old in eight months and that's what you can make too, all right? Stay with me all day as I keep you posted on what's going on and how you can obtain the same amount of money that I obtained at 20 freaking years old, okay? Who wants the money? Boom, oh, the eagle is landed, all right? Come on now, okay? It's not even, dude, it's not even like it's, I'll show you in the car, okay? It's not even like it's that amount, that crazy amount of money, right? However, I earned $117,361.13. I don't even have the 13 cents in here, okay? Supposedly Lauren's got that, all right? But the reason why we're doing this, okay, is to remind you that anyone can earn this amount of money as we hang out with the money for the day. Thank you, Brett, okay? As we hang out with the money today, and as we show you how you can start to freaking get the money, okay? Let's have you hang out with me and we'll put Lauren up front, okay? If you like that, Dylan, okay? All right, so. I guess it isn't light though, okay? I guess it isn't light, okay? As, as we're gonna break into this. Uh, at some point, okay, should we break into it now, okay? We're done with the mask, that's for sure, okay? So think about this, all right? If you had to earn this amount of money, how would you earn it? What would you do? Okay, like I literally was not too far from here as a brand new insurance agent, right? At some point, I'm gonna be showing you the actual offices where I earned the money, okay? While we're out, uh, uh, Lauren and Brett, why don't we roll by the first mutual building, babe, okay. that um, I started at as a brand new agent, okay? A lot of you guys watching our stuff, man, you're new, you're struggling, okay? You're not making freaking money. 92% of interest agents fell in the first three years. The question is, man, how are we gonna make sure that you don't, all right? Because you start thinking about this, okay? And you start looking at this amount of money, okay, whatever this amount of money is, they, they're freaking packing this in tight, okay? Is, dude, literally, this, just this little sliver is 10,000 bucks. That's it. And everyone should be earning this. Eventually, you should be earning this every, every week potentially eventually every day. I think about our companies now, okay? I would say total total revenue, uh, we are definitely earning, I would say probably 50, I would say we're earning five of these little slivers daily, okay? And you can too, because when I think back to all the stuff I had to do, I remember going out and door knocking 175 doors on a Friday just to hit my quota of sitting down with enough people, okay? So when you're new and you're struggling, I'm doing this to show you, okay, that you can have whatever you wanna have. The question is, what do you want to have, okay? What do you want to do? How do you want to do it? If you think about it as an agent, okay, as a brand new insurance agent, all right, as, as, as we come to you and talk through this, man, what, what do you think is the one thing that's holding you back? Because you gotta start to ask yourself, man, how do I get, how, how do I figure out what my problems are and how do I solve some of those things, okay? So one of the things I want you to think through right now is when you think about some of the problems that you're having, would, the, would this start to solve it, okay? Would this start to solve it, okay? Or would this, or would this, or would this, or would this start to solve it? But you also gotta think about, okay, what can I give up? What I've noticed in my life is I've had like some pivotal moments over these last, over 10 years, 10 and a half years of being in the insurance industry. And I've had these pivotal moments along the way where everything started to change simply because I gave something up, okay? At some point, okay, as, as, as Brett is, is getting, getting on the SQ8, okay, this thing's got 500 horsepower, freaking love this car, is at some point you're gonna have to give something up, right? Some of you are like, dude, I will do whatever it takes. You always tell me, dude, I will do whatever it takes, okay? It's the one on the far right, okay, of that building. You always say, dude, I will do whatever it takes, but the question is, will you really do whatever it takes, okay? Because most people don't. Right? And we're rolling up to the first building that I actually started my career in. Why? Because most of you, I, I, I made a decision, okay? Most of you don't know, I had a recruiting meeting with a manager, literally in this office, this front office right here, okay? Literally in this front office right here, okay? And in that building, right, in that building, actually, let's just roll around it, okay? So, so let's, um, yeah, so literally this first, this front left part, literally right there that Dylan's showing you, was the conference room where I sat, and we'll just go really slow around it, where I sat literally with a sales manager right in there, okay? And the manager said, dude, I, 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 he said, I want all 10 of you to stand up, okay? So he had 10 of us stand up. And what happened is, okay, after that, 
he said, maybe, he said, now take a look around. Okay, so we're all standing up, we're taking a look around, and I'm like, okay, what's, what's next, man? What's going on? Why is the Evans doing this? This dude's weird already. And he's like, now nine of you sit down. And he left somebody else standing. He didn't leave me standing. And he said, now look around. He said, maybe one of you will make it. And I'm like, dude, if there's going to be a one, okay, as we're rolling around this entire building of where I started as an insurance agent, okay, I said, I said, there's going to be a one, I'm going to be the one. You got to ask yourself at some point, okay, if there's going to be a one, are you going to be the one? Because at some point you got to commit and decide and be like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be the one. I'm going to win. I'm going to do whatever it takes. And a lot of you will say you'll do whatever it takes, but I actually did whatever it takes. Okay. Now let's roll around the second building, Lauren, okay, which is over by our office now. This was, the, I'm going to show you the second office where I was started and I was making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in the second office as well. And now we've got an entire two buildings and we're making millions of dollars a year. We'll do a total, we'll do over 10 million bucks between all the companies this year. But I'm telling you all this stuff because when I was a brand new agent, I wanted to set 15 appointments, sit with 10 and sell five every week. I don't care what industry you're in, doesn't even matter. But for me as a brand new insurance agent, I wanted to make sure that I did whatever it took to succeed. So I would do call cold calls on a, on a Sunday. I'd do call nights on a, on a Monday night with callers. I would door knock on Fridays, Saturdays, whatever it took. If I didn't hit my target of $2,000 a week and sitting down with 10 people, then I would do what? I would continue to make sure that I got in front of people. I don't care if I had to door knock at eight o'clock on a Saturday. Okay, when you commit to hitting your goal, you should commit to hitting your goal, right? That's the point of having a goal. Most people, okay, most people when they say, dude, I have a target, I have a goal, I wanna win, I wanna succeed, I wanna do this, 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 and this. Do you actually do it? I want you to ask yourself, right? Like if, if you said, Cody, like think about what, what you wanna do. Think about whatever target you want. Maybe you're like, dude, I wanna make um, a stack like this every month, okay? I don't know what this, this is probably like 20 grand, I don't know. Uh, actually, this one looks like it's quite a bit more, but whatever, okay? Maybe it's 20 grand a month. You're like, dude, I wanna earn 20 grand a month. Okay, good. Um, that's $5,000 a week. If you had to earn $5,000 a week, how would you make that happen? How would you do that? How would you pull that off? How would it become reality? Okay, I'm telling you, it can become reality, and then you're like, well, dude, I need to sit down with, maybe you're like, I sell life insurance, dude, I need, I need to sit down with, with, with 20 people a week, 15 people a week to hit that goal, because I'm gonna sell 10 of them at, 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 at 500 bucks a piece. I don't know, we're making it up, okay? You gotta do your own math and do your own numbers. But you think about that, you're like, okay, okay, we're at 5K, okay, we're at 5K. I need to sit down with I need to sit down with 15 and sell. I need to set 20, sit sit down with 15 and sell 10. If I said, "Hey, I need you to make 700 calls a day." Now, you don't the good news is you don't have to, to actually hit those numbers. But if I said, "Dude, you got to 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 you got you to you make 700 calls a day. 3 days a week." Would you do it? Would you do it? Okay? I'm about to take a big bump, okay? Did, 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 what could would you do it? Most of you would say, dude, we started this video, you're like, dude, I'll do whatever it takes to freaking out, to, to get all of this, I will do whatever it takes, okay? And every single person in the insurance industry or any other sales industry could be earning this kind of money, okay? Here's the front, here's literally, okay? Here's literally the front of the office of where I first started, okay, as we roll around, okay? And literally, this is where I started in, 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 as a brand new insurance agent. What, and why am I showing you this, okay? Because this was the second building in my first few years that I ended up at. And, and, and simply by committing to making sure that I won. Okay, so I started out in a corner cubicle, cubicle office at the begin, or before office. Now I ended up with an office that's literally right here. Okay, this window right here that I'm pointing at. Okay, we, we can go and head back to our office. Okay, w literally my office was right there. And even, and, and what happened is I was a little concerned because I was operating in a cubicle. I was starting to make hundreds, uh, over a hundred grand a year. I didn't want to go backwards. You know what I mean? Like some, some people get complacent. Have you ever, you know, what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? Have you ever got complacent from time to time? We're like, okay, I'm not doing all I can, okay? So I went through a little bit of a dip there, to be honest, where I'm like, dude, I, I'm making money. I'm driving a nice car. I'm blowing all the money. I'm in an office now. Everybody in the office is looking up to me. They all want me to train them and help them and freaking coach them and everything else. Like, well, what, what should I do? Well, I know that for me, I was going to do whatever it took, but I needed some corrections along the way. So I'm showing you this as a correction, okay? As a time to get your focus back, okay? To stop being complacent, to start to freaking win. 
Okay. And, and to get to where you're like, dude, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. So stay with me. Let's roll to the studio. Okay. We're going to roll to the studio with this. Okay. And because I want to keep talking to you about money, this kind of money and how you can freaking have it all. But at some point you got to commit that, dude, I want it all, man. I want it all. I will do whatever it takes. I want it all. I'm like, dude, you, you know, uh, I want this hanging out with me all day, every day. Okay. I, I, I don't want to take us back to the bank. I want to freaking play with it, man. I want to play with it. Okay. So what we're going to talk through is how you can make sure that you end up with some freaking cabbage so that you don't just, so that you don't just kind of do it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Brett. So that you don't just kind of do it. You don't just act like it. Okay. And so that you don't just, so that you don't just stand around and say, okay, what's, what's going on. Okay. Just touch it. Just what, touch it. What okay. Are you put that just on? everybody and working here right now can, uh, can have this kind of money. Okay. They can have this kind of money just by freaking showing and putting the work, okay? Because they'll actually do whatever I say and whatever it takes, okay? The question is, will you guys, okay? Will you, okay? I should just freaking throw it in the air and just give it to the team right now, okay? So as we talk about giving something up, go to the next level, do whatever it takes, cold calling, cold door knocking, whatever, okay? How do you make sure that, 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 that you end up holding just freaking stacks of cash like this one day, okay? How do you make sure this is this is just part of it too? Okay, hey, check out my office while, while 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 we're doing the whole tour. Okay, we got a new goal in the office. Nice setup, boards everywhere, dashboards everywhere. Like we got we got. Um, I'm I'm committed to knowing my numbers all the time. By the way, okay, all the time in your business, you should know your numbers all the time. Like as a brand new insurance agent, I had a whiteboard on my wall. And I was visually tracking everything I was accomplishing every single day, every single week, every single month. Okay. Let's see if Andy can catch it. Okay. Every single day, every single month, every single year. Okay. Step over here for me, Andy. Oh, okay. He's got some hands. He's got some hands, bro. Okay. Would you have caught it? Okay. Would you have caught it? Okay. So start to think about, man, how, will I do whatever it takes? I will do it. No matter what, some of you be like, dude, this video is freaking obnoxious and crazy. Dude, you ain't lying. It is 100% obnoxious and freaking crazy. But why are we doing this? And why do I want to show you this? And why are we talking through how you can have the freaking money? Okay. And how you can end up with a ton of freaking cash. Well, you can do it by starting to freaking show up in your own life by actually doing whatever it takes, man, and by actually committing to winning, okay? And by saying, you know what, dude, I will do whatever it takes. I don't even care, okay? Dude, this is the good stack right here, okay? For those that are wondering, this, this top one, that's the good stack, okay? That's the good stack, okay? And we got some, some loose money there, okay? Dude, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just keep a bunch of this and and just hold on to it in my own personal pocket, and not even tell everybody. Okay, so okay, the question is, all right, if I said, dude, you got to make the call and you got to be you got to use the phone, would you use the phone? Okay, would it deflate? Would it inflate? Or would you freaking use it? Okay, like, will you do whatever it takes? I'm doing whatever it takes to get your attention because I'm the number one dude in the space to help you, and it's not even close. If I said, pick it up. 700 times a day, would you do it? A lot of you, it's right here that's holding you back, by the way, okay? Because you can have this, 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 okay? But will you do whatever it takes to actually end up with it, man? I don't freaking know what you will do. I just know that I will do it, okay? Because at the end of the day, this could all be yours and it should be yours because guess what? This is the exact amount of money, $117,000. $361.13 that I made in my first eight months at 20 years old while I'm in college, while I'm taking 21 credit hours a semester, while I'm playing basketball. Why? Because I did whatever it took. I set the goal. What I didn't tell you earlier is in, in that recruiting meeting where there's 10 of us, okay? I set a goal. I set a target. I said, I will earn $100,000 my first year in the insurance industry. I dated it. I signed it. And I hung it up, my, my father signed it, my manager signed it, and I hung it up on the wall of my cubicle. And every day I went out to make this a reality. I said, I will earn $117,361.13. Okay, did you commit 
to whatever your target is? Are you this sold on you winning that you actually write it down once and then you write it down every single day? I now write it down every single day. I don't just do it once. I write down every single day. I write down, we, are, we, we do over 100 million in revenue, okay? Not only sometimes, but all the freaking time. Why? Like right now, okay, today, April 6th, yesterday, the day before, now that we're shooting this. Why am I writing this stuff down every single day? Because I want to be focused on freaking winning. How focused do you want to be on winning? I'm telling you, $117,361.13 can be yours. Your first year, your 10th year, your 100th year, I don't freaking care. But until you recognize what you want to do and set a target, boom, then you commit to actually doing it and sign off on it and then write it down every single day, you'll never get it. So the question is, how bad do you really want it? What the freak would you do to make sure that it happens? How we make sure that you have as much success as I have. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're gonna love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm extremely excited to jump out and interview an absolute powerhouse in the insurance industry, Miss Leslie Schofield. What's up, Leslie? Hey, 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 happy to be here. Thank you so much for being a part of this, all right? She, she